Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. I mean, you saw the title. But, uh, this is a game I played quite a bit of when I was a youngster. I mean, look at, look at this animation. Look at that portrait. It's ruinous. Throwing a bunch of knives, staring at a whip, putting your hand on the pull. Oh, oh, that it spikes or ice balls, I don't know. Nice flipping action. Nice whipping action. Exploding the bats. Um, yeah, I, I think this is the only animated cutscene in the game. Look at those girls. They, they look pretty. But, uh, it's fun. Running. Summoning the icicles. Summoning lots of, oh god, she has a, she has a giant sword. Okay. And then just freeze time, because why the heck not? Alright, this is Castlevania, Por oh hi, hi there, Castlevania, Portrait of Ruin. Uh, I did a slight test just to make sure it worked okay. So, R, E, D, space, L, P. Okay, uh, let's make this one Happy Lady. And we will watch this cutscene, or the, the words. 1944, the world is in chaos. The Second World War has claimed millions of lives. Leveled cities destroyed nations. The souls of the war's dead blanket the planet, lost, hurt, and angry. Their anguish summons an accursed castle of legend. It's appeared many times throughout history, bring with it evil and darkness. The castle of Dracula, the lord of evil. It arrives in man's darkest hour, it pushes over the brink into ruin. Good to know. Good to know. Look at him do his travel shuffle. Good for him. He's Jonathan Morris. Good eye. And you are? Ah, forgive me. I am Vincent Doran. By order of the church, I have been waiting you. To think that the master of the legendary vampire killer would come here. A blessing indeed. Too bad he can't actually use it. <laughs> Charlotte, can't you even pretend to play along for once? Well, that's the truth, isn't it? You can't lie to a priest. Wh what? Is Justin the Whip is a fake, then? It's true. I can't use the vampire killer. This whip wasn't actually passed down through my family. You've heard of the Belmont family, haven't you? Why, of course I have. They've used that whip for generations to destroy Dracula. That family is related to the Morse family by blood. Doing your research, huh? Fortunately, the fact is, we're not the true successors. No problem, though. Won every battle from now without the whip, not one loss. Lucky you have me to help you. Yes, I was wondering about that. And you are? Well, excuse me. If you're from the church, then remember this. I am Charlotte Allen. Charlotte. I've heard that name before. Charlotte. Oh! You must be the great magician everyone's been talking. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that. He called me L-O-V-E-L-Y. So anyway, Vincent, you had some business with me? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. I've been ordered to assist you in your quest. I brought potions with me, but, well... Well, what? It's a matter of economics. You want us to pay you, right? Oh, well, if you insist, sure, no problem. I think we can take care of that. I couldn't care less. But more importantly, the castle. Is that really Dracula's castle? No one has seen Dracula thus far. However, the church insists that it is indeed Dracula's castle. No doubt about it. The castle is pulsing with dark magical power. I can't imagine it's anything but the castle of Lord Dracula that I studied in the books. Sounds like fun! Come on, better get going then. Charlotte, right with you. B be, be careful. I'll search for a safe place inside. I'll meet you. Godspeed. Be careful. Wee! 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 I do not have access to all my buttons yet, because you unlocked them early on. Ah, the entrance. Boop! Oh, whoops. Uh, I can switch characters by pressing X now. That's all it said. 
Eh. I don't need Charlotte. Eh. Charlotte, are you fat enough for this? No, no, she's she's slim. She's slim shady. Oh, I should probably send her away. Uh, they don't... I don't think they take damage if Charlotte takes damage, but it does drain your MP. And... Like, it's, it's just not worth to keep her around most of the time. Or if you want to play through a Charlotte, which you can do. Here, I'll demonstrate. Boop. But Jonathan's... Jonathan's kind of the main character in this game. Charlotte is definitely a strong supporting character, but she is not the main. Um... And yeah, as you... As you probably observe because you watched the cutscene... Hey, Hobo's clothes! Why is this better defense than my regular clothes? Um, as you probably have observed, Jonathan's not a Belmont. No, he is... He is a Morris. Um, which means... Because we actually, if you check the equip menu, we have the Vampire Killer right now. It's just that... You know, we don't have its power unlocked. Um, we're also being chased by a thing. I believe you can actually hurt it. Like, as I will demonstrate, try to avoid taking damage. Yeah, so you can, you can damage to it. It is a question mark. But... Knife. Badoo! Uh, we'll be fighting it later. Call it a, I've played this game before and know exactly what I'm doing. And, God, there was, there was a thing. Nope. Nope, wrong button. Yes. You can level up your sub-weapons by doing damage with them. I think. Did that do anything? No, you gotta kill with them. So now... Yep. So I, Skeletan, vulnerable to the whip, will be doing my best. You stand there, Charlotte. I, I don't even remember that, honestly. Uh, equip Charlotte. Okay, so she's got Raging Fire already. Um, I barely remember the stay functionality because it's basically just used for quests. Ooh, copper plate. Much better. Let's get Charlotte hoboed up. First damage. Second damage. I'm dying. Display the names of enemies. Well, that's an axe armor, as we can tell. Um, ooh, head guard. Um, warp room. I was... I was gonna say word, but honestly, it's completely gone out of my brain now. Okay, I'll try to remember later. Uh -huh. Something's here. It's not human. A monster? No, wait, I sense no evil from him. Ah, you can sense me. Who are you? A ghost, as you can see. Ghosts have no need for names. I impossible. It's only retained his conscience after dying. It must be the castle's magic. I don't know about you, but he sure seems shady to me. Think what you will. It's your choice. However, can you truly destroy him with a whip you can't even use? Only one way to find out! Wait, hold on. How do you know we can't use the Vampire Killer? Huh? I find it very odd to find a ghost not controlled by the power of Dracula's castle. Smart girl compared to this foolish boy. Just before I died, I cast a magic bear on myself, binding my soul to this place. I'm free from the castle's control, but I'm trapped here. But a paranormal envelope can easily be affected by magic. Casting barrier that repels the castle's power is impossible, even for me. Just who are you? 
My name is Meanless. I suppose you need to call me something. Very well. Call me Wind. Mr. Wind. Just Wind is fine. Alright, Wind. What are you doing here? Did you hear him? He's trapped here, remember. I understand that. If he truly has this much power, he could use other methods besides just binding his spirit here. My, my, my. You really are a bright little girl, aren't you? Stop treating me like a child. My name is Charlotte. Ah, I understand. And who is this boy? Who are you calling a boy? It's Jonathan. Jonathan Morris. The reason I'm here, simply put, is regret. I will not rest until the lord of this castle is vanquished. I will lend assistance to those who wish to defeat him. But if you can't move from here, what do you intend to do? Spirit form, I have items and techniques I once possessed in life. I think they'll be of great help to you. In that case, please help us. No, I've been able to do fine without any of his help so far. So why don't you just write so far? But this is Dracula's castle. You need to use that whip, it won't help you when you die. Don't you remember your father? Enough about my father. Just leave this to me, okay? My father's dead. Forget him. Sorry. But still, no, wait, I'm... I'm sorry. Guess I got a little overdramatic there. You might be right, Charlotte. When perhaps we could use your help. Would you help us? Complete the tasks I give. Only then will I help you. Deal. Let's go. Hey, what up? Oh, well, well. Welcome back. Hm. So you're selling your potions here? There aren't many now, but my stock will increase little by little. For a price, right? Yes, I'm afraid so, Master Jonathan. Don't try anything shifty. Or don't even try to lie. Still... Thank you, your life saves. Anyway, please have a look. First things first, save! Whoa, that's expensive. I right, nothing else I want to buy right now. How are things? Well done. You mean Dracula, right? Dracula isn't this castle's lord. What do you mean? That's why they call this Dracula's castle. It's indeed Dracula's castle. However, the castle's lord is a vampire by the name of Browner. I've heard nothing about that. As one would expect. His identity has been kept a secret for years, after all. He infuses magic into paintings to increase his power. When done, then come across the paintings in the castle. Search for them. Using the ba painting that the, the words. So he isn't dragging after all, so we're safe for now. Be careful. His power goes stronger by the minute. No problem. We won't let you be tied here for long. That's a promise. Trust us. Jonathan might seem unreliable, but he'd never break a promise. <laughs> Reassuring. Very well. Best of luck. Alright then, let's go find these paintings and stab them. Whee! This move is not that useful, but it's there. This painting, its power is incredible. It's one of those paintings. Without a doubt. Hmm. I've got it. Care to share? This painting's function. Brown is using to control the power of this castle. Well, let's hurry up and rip it to shreds. Impossible. Anything we do would be pointless. Well, I can tell based on the theory of curse amplification, the picture is a multi-layer quantum space barrier. A kind of paranormal phenomenon. What's that mean? In short, think of it as a series of walls that surround the magic and join Dracula's castle. The painting itself is just the outermost wall. As soon as you break it, it'll regenerate. It's unbreakable. How convenient. So now what? Well, I imagine paintings, we can enter it. That'll be the best way to circumvent the castle's magic. The risk is quite high, though. No problem. Come on, what do you have to lose? Uh, your lives. Zoom! So we're in the painting now? The will of the artist is embodied here. Alright! City of Haze. Hey. Alright. Yeah, I won't be getting a ton of money early on.
There we go. Just cause... I am gonna be focusing on leveling up my skills. Alright, give her the flower petal. I leveled up! Oh, and also, if you've played a Castlevania game, I'm sure you know, there are hidden walls hidden breakable walls that can wall your break hidden. Um, I don't remember where all of them are. But I do remember that there's some here in the city of Hayes. And I will do my best to find them. I'll probably crack out a guide once I've near the end of the game just to um, do cleanup. But, am. And a dress. Why is there a dress with the ham? These are questions that you... That... Like... Questions. Why is there a dress with the ham? But... Uh, onward we go. See, a leather cuirass, that makes more sense. But I'm gonna keep the copper plate on. Because a leather cuirass is made of leather. You know, leather that you get from cows. Or pigs. But, dress with ham? Dress with ham. Hammy dress. I know, I didn't need to do that. I just, I just wanted to, gosh darn it. Seventy HP. Oh, and you can see how much SP they grant too. Okay, that's useful. Flowers. They increase your defense for reasons. I don't know what the reasons are, but they do. Uh, money. You know what? Honestly, cause ooh, a leather corset. Uh, is that better for her? No. So, honestly, I don't know for sure um, if money's going to be an issue. Because when I played this game as a kid, I utilized a glitch. Uh, it's a wind glitch with Windy Boy. And what it does is it lets you infinitely gain rewards from him, including... Uh, money reward. Well, not money rewards, but item rewards. And item uh, rewards can be sold. And you make money with that, so it's relatively easy to get infinite money with the glitch. Well, not infinite, but arbitrarily large. Uh, I will not be using that glitch. I'm gonna play this game legit. Eh... Okay, to a certain extent legit, because I have played the game before, so I've, I've got a bit of an unfair advantage. Relative to someone playing the game fresh. But, you guys get what I mean. There we go. Hidden room. That is a dangerous broom, which... Can't wait till I get to enemies with higher SP. Oh god, it's the bartender. He has a very dangerous what, um, ability. Oh. Because one of his things is like instant death. Okay, he's worth 2 SP. I got a green tea cake. And a cream pie. I got a cream pie, guys. I can throw a cream pie at people. Alright, you guys ready for this? Hidden room in hidden room. Oh! Oh! You guys see what I'm seeing? Open the register. Ha <laughs> ha! Got 
gotcha. Okay, calm down. Calm down there, lady. Uh, let me check my guide skills. Noif. Uh, I don't feel like the need... I don't feel the need to level up either the cream pie or the... Or the paper airplane right now. Um, the pie will actually come in handy later. I know, shocking, but that that pie will come in here. Ooh, uh, I'm not gonna use that right now. I'll show it off once I get to a safe room, because it it t uh, those combination abilities take a lot of MP. Um, hmm. Now the question is, do I use this claymore? You know what? I'm gonna try to keep it classic. Let's let's use whips. This is Castlevania, after all. Ow. Boop. Ooh, an axe. That's handy. And sandals. That's also handy. Whoops, wrong button. It's going to be rough getting all the items, because I am hoping to 100% this game uh, here on the channel. I'm definitely going to get the to the end. Like, no doubts about that. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see how far in terms of 100%. Just go away. This is a pretty good grinding area, although it should be noted, uh, after a while, things start to get weird, and by weird I mean, um, other enemies show up. Ooh, better wick. Vampire killer, I've got a leather wick. There we go. I knew I could get that. I really like the art style of these DS Castlevania games. They're pretty good. Let's see, to the right is progress. Die. Oh no, maybe to the down is progress. Um, Cause I'm trying to end the episode, but I need to get to the save room. Got Uh, what are you? No, you are. Are you progress? God, I don't remember. Give me the MP. Give me the heart. The heart, Osborne. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. And now Charlotte is wearing high heels. That is not practical. I'll keep that equipped on Charlotte just so I can demonstrate it real quick when I find a save room. How much money do I have? Oh, I got $4,300. You're worth two, I think. No, you're worth one. Gosh darn it. And I am going to concentrate on uh, doing all that because uh, there is an endgame quest that's literally max everything. Okay, come on, buddy. Jellyfish. Fish. Fornius. You're not worth my time, Fornius. Where the heck is a save room? Uh, mar marked street. Not market. Marked. 
Ooh. Peeping Eyes drop a very nice item that lets you see uh, breakable walls. Money Sack. Ah, here we go. Oh, I can't even use Holy Lightning yet. Okay. Let's re-equip Rush. All right. And that is it for episode one. I hope you guys had a fun time. We made some decent progress. And I'll catch you all later.